Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna play with the Lenovo X3650 Model 4 because I have gotten a new spare part for that and we're gonna be getting back to that. Uh, today I have a special announcement. Today's show is gonna be filmed in front of a studio audience. Very, very... Well, I'm taking care of my brother's dog and um, well, he needs his attention so he's um, right here behind the camera for a little bit then he will walk away which he just did so um, I have gotten a new spare part and it's a it's a backplane for the M4 3650 X3650 M4 and this one has a port replicator on it this means that um, it can use the built-in SAS controller on the system board and replicate that out to even more disks. So with this thing it can go from 8 disks to 16 disks on one controller and um, that's pretty awesome but this thing is really expensive. I was so lucky to get this on an uh, eBay auction in Great Britain the normal price for this is five, six hundred dollars at least. I've seen it up to about almost nine hundred dollars, I guess. Um, I got this for about, I think I paid about 65 pounds or something for this. So um, way less than that and I was pretty lucky. I had been bidding on two of these. The first one I did not get, that one got away from me for a lot more. But this one I got, together with another piece that I'm going to be doing another video on. So, we're going to be installing this one today. Okay, we are very curious on what is going on here. But, when I have to install something like this, I often go to the manual. And on this point, Lenovo is really awesome because they have a lot of help for stuff like this and it's easy to come by. Here are all the rack servers in the X series or at least a lot of them in like this help file and you just pick the right one. If you have an M3 it's right here, M4 is right there, M5 is right there or a bigger server it's, or bigger servers is down here. Uh, the very older models are not really there um, they might be over at IBM's page instead but here is the M4 and we can go in this is the M4 over here there's a lot of good information on that click the plus sign here and there is different options here installing optional devices I think is a good place to start looking for what we're gonna do like that and we're going to be installing a backplane, so um, let's full screen this, by the way. And I have been in here and I do actually know that this is the first one. I think I remember that. And there is a really good description on how to do this. Like how to uh, take out the old backplane, put in the new backplane, cable, which way they go. Just check that, am I close enough? But this is almost cheating. Is it, it becomes way too easy when you get all this help. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing is, there is already a backplane in there, like this drawing. Right now it consists of this one, which takes care of the first eight disks. And that is cabled from back here in the server. This is the server, this is the front, this is the back. And back here is the rate controller on the system board. So right now the cables are going over here. I do believe that with this uh, expander card, there's a couple of new cables. I did not get those. So I'll be using the ones that are in here already. They're just a little bit too long. They go over here right now. So um, I have to change that up. So the new card going here and that is gonna be extended from the new card and over to the old card. So instead of just having eight ports, I'll be having 16 ports. 
so just wanted to share this awesome help options that are in here they talk about how the configuration cable is to be put in and the power cable so um, well I hope I have everything otherwise um, I will find that out right okay and the reason that I can show this on this server is because I've been playing with this server I have had a lot of trouble as you have probably seen in an earlier video with me uh, installing VMware ESXi on it and passing through a graphics card and um, this is actually I was just wanted to show this I have been configuring this this server has two E5 2670s these are 2.6 gigahertz configuring them in the BIOS to run maximum right now they are peaking out at about 3 gigahertz and there's a lot of them there are 32 cores uh, logical processors 32 two sockets 16 cores in in total and 32 logical processors like that's with hyper threading so um, I installed server 2016 on this we could just see that here we are that's the processor it has 384 gigs of RAM operating system and so on I haven't registered this is I'm just testing it you can see down here Windows is not activated but I have installed the graphics card on it in it so um, just for everybody who regularly watches my videos the graphics card works really well and I have also installed my editing software this is a earlier video where I uh, went to the recycling center to throw out my old stove <laughs> I was told it was called ish um, and it does that really well but as soon as I go into VMware it won't pass that through so uh, well I'll be working more on that but back to the video at hand um, do you wanna know so we'll try and install this and I'll shut this down for that purpose okay here is the graphics card that is in this server the one that we just saw was working the AMD Fire Pro graphics V7900 this graphics card can render my videos a little bit faster than all 32 cores virtual cores in the server so um, I could if I could virtualize this I could just have four cores running uh, on the CPU and this graphics card and it would be as fast as the whole system but I also see that this is gonna be a kind of a short video because I'm missing this power cable and also this communication cable over here I don't have the right one so um, but we can put it in and kind of see how it's supposed to be sitting so right now the cables for the for the rate controller comes out here there are two plugs down here we could I'll just unplug power to make sure that we're not doing anything too stupid there powered off and I'll just put the anti-static rest band on a bit late I know um, two plugs down here we could reveal those here the rate controller is on the system board I did a video where I put on this cache controller um, that enables rate 5 2 but system board mounted rate controller with an extension cables goes this way and over here and into the back plane here so what I would have to do was take out these cables put this in and put the cables in here and um, put these two cables over there have a power plug right now the power plug just goes from here and over to I actually I took it up here I wanted to be sure that it wasn't the right one that it wasn't hiding another lead somewhere but it does not so this this power 
connector is just for one backplane and I really needed one for two backplanes um, and I don't have that one. I really want the right one for this the configuration cable is this one and I need a splitter cable for that as well so I am missing the two cables which is really irritating because I was hoping to get this in um, up and running but well so this video is more or less just gonna be what am I missing I need to go buy some cables for this I hope they are not too expensive that would be irritating so well this video just got a lot shorter so I will um, have to wait on this that's unfortunate here I have a backplane for the M3 that I did a video on previously and that one actually has the splitter cable for the configuration signal so that's uh, this wire here and I do believe that if I took this out it would work it looks like it's the same cable um, but I would still be missing the power cable and this one is definitely not the right one well I will really have to go and do some more shopping before I get this one up and running well unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, complete this task today but now I know what I have to go get um, it seems that the Y cables comes with this device and I do also believe that I saw that in the documentation but I just got this thing and I got that at a really good price so I really do hope that the cables are not the expensive part of it so uh, well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye